Coming up, why we've been sold to ITV. And the construction jobs at risk thanks to a planning U-turn. Those stories and more after this break. This is Channel Television. Time now for Channel Report. On tonight's programme, Changing Channel. After 49 years as an independent region, ITV have confirmed they're to buy Channel Television. The new owner says the takeover will strengthen the station's output. Tonight we'll be finding out why the deal was done and what it means for you, the viewer. Also on Channel Report, 34 jobs at risk after an application to develop a Jersey hotel is turned down. That would affect us greatly as I've just got a son started university, my daughter's just finished university um, and it's not a cheap exercise. Plus as the £80 million airport plans are given the go ahead, one deputy asks is this the right way forward? And nobody to care, Guernsey's facing a shortage of foster carers, could you fit the bill? Good evening and welcome to the programme. Channel Television is to be sold to the ITV Group. In a shock deal rumoured to be worth £10 million, the broadcaster bought the channel from their owners, the Yattenden Group. Channel Television was set up 49 years ago and was one of the last three independent regional stations in the British Isles. The company also has a lucrative compliance business which looks after some of ITV's biggest shows, including The X Factor. Bosses at the new parent company say that the takeover will strengthen programming. Leah Ferguson reports. I am taking to myself the particular pleasure of announcing our very first programme. The 1st of Ladies September 1962 and, and Channel Television was born. I am now going to the studio set may have changed over the years, television. but one thing so remained constant. It was independently owned. But now, just as it enters its 50th anniversary year, owners Yattenden Group have sold it to ITV PLC. Channel 3 is made up of 15 regional licences. Four of those are currently independent franchises, so those Scottish Television and Grampian owned by STV, Northern Ireland's UTV and Channel Television. Channel will now join the 11 other regions under ITV control. Well, obviously, it marks a significant change for our company. Uh, as the television industry has changed, so have we over the years. We have been through change before, and each time it has strengthened our service. And this marks a new chapter for us. Um, we already have very strong links with ITV U News in the UK, and we see this as a very positive step. It will further strengthen those links. The deal is subject to approval from Jersey's competition authorities but it already has the agreement of Channel Island's governments and their strong supporters of local news. Firstly, um, local people want local news. But secondly, it's vitally important in broadcasting to maintain plurality, plurality of service. And what I mean is more than one person providing or company providing the news to get a balance. I see that the uh, identity of Channel TV will be retained it's just the ownership will have changed. I think the real reason that uh, National ITV uh, are, are looking to purchase Channel TV is for the uh, compliance section of their company. Well, Channel Television isn't just about news. Part of the company is a compliance business based in London, where programmes such as The X Factor, Midsummer Murders and Britain's Got Talent are scrutinised to check whether they follow the broadcasting code. So this takeover is part of ITV's wider strategy to improve compliance across the board and to consolidate its business. So behind the scenes, the company may be changing ownership, but for the viewer, it will remain the same. Earlier, Jess caught up with ITV's Director of News, Michael Jeremy, and began by asking him how the takeover will change our programming. I don't think viewers will notice enormous changes uh, on channel television. 
ITV thinks that Channel Television is a great company, a good business, and serves the islands really well. Um, I think the first thing we'll do is get to understand the business uh, more closely, work very closely with the local management, uh, and look to enhance uh, the service over time. But I don't think viewers should expect to see enormous uh, changes on air anytime soon. So our flagship programme, Channel Report, is not going to be reduced in any way? Channel Report stays. Um, I think. ITV wants to have strong regional broadcasting everywhere and that certainly will be the case in the Channel Islands. So our half hour programme, just to clarify, is not going to be reduced to like an eight minute opt, for example? I don't expect to see any change of that nature. We have a strong half hour programme now and I expect that to continue. Now we've seen other regions ped down and down to cut costs. We've seen technicians lose their jobs as a result and being replaced with video journalists. Is that a plan for our region? Over time, ITV has needed to reduce the amount it spent on regional broadcasting so that the value of the regional licences and the cost of the regional li uh, uh, licences were in alignment. There have been cuts in recent years. I think we're now getting much closer to a point where what ITV spends on regional news will be sustainable over the long run. Um, I think people want to know is why did ITV want to buy channel television? Was it purely to gain the profitable side of the business, the compliance side? I think Channel Television is a great business. It broadcasts the ITV1 schedule in the Channel Islands and does great local broadcasting. That's what ITV does across the country. And so there was a natural fit between the two businesses. But compliance was a big factor, wasn't it? I think compliance was a big factor. We've got a situation now where there are two ways to comply programmes, either through ITV PLC or through Channel Television. That introduces, in our minds, some great inefficiencies into the system. And by bringing the two together, uh, we think that will be in the interests of ITV as a whole right across the British Isles. And finally, the media is, is saying that the deal was worth £10 million. Is that true? We're not commenting on uh, the financial details of the deal at all. Is, is that a ballpark figure, though, £10 million? Is that about the, the figure? Very good question, but we're not making any comment at all. OK. Michael Jeremy, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, finally tonight, the comments have been flooding in on our top story. The channel television has been sold to ITV PLC. Yeah, Peter's been in touch with us. Uh, not good news. Unfortunately, given their past form, ITV will destroy any regional channel. Bye-bye channel, Peter says. Yeah, now John said, as one of the few who worked at Channel before it first went on air nearly 50 years ago, I would like to wish it well under new owners. If the change of ownership preserves Channel Television as the Channel Islands' own TV service, it is to be welcomed. Hyperstar has this to say. As someone from the UK, I would say ITV hates local stuff and will only do the minimum required. And uh, Mark from St Helier said, I hope this change can open up the possibilities for locals to make more programmes. Onwards and upwards, I say, making TV as unique as our islands and the people that live on them. Thank you very much for those. A real mix of comments there, isn't, isn't there? Absolutely. We will see how things pan out over the coming months, Please, I guess. Yeah. That is it for your channel report for this evening. We're back with an update for you at 10.30. You can always get more on our website, on Facebook or on Twitter. But from me, Jess and all the team, goodbye. Good night.